Raphael, born in 1483 in Urbino, Italy, was a renowned painter and architect of the High Renaissance period. His full name was Raffaello Sancio de Urbino. Raised in an artistic environment, Raphael's father, Giovanni Santi, was a painter at the court of Urbino, exposing him to the world of art from a young age. Tragically, Raphael lost his mother at the tender age of eight, and his father passed away when he was just 11 years old. Following his father's footsteps, Raphael began his apprenticeship under the guidance of the painter Pietro Perugino. During this time, he developed his skills, and gained a deep understanding of perspective, color, and composition. His early works displayed remarkable talent and attracted attention within artistic circles. At the age of 17, Raphael moved to Florence, a hub of artistic innovation during the Renaissance. Immersed in the works of masters like Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, he absorbed their techniques and incorporated them into his own style, which became characterized by its grace, harmony, and idealized beauty. Raphael's breakthrough came when he was commissioned to paint the marriage of the Virgin for the Church of San Francesco in Città di Castello. This masterpiece garnered widespread acclaim, establishing his reputation as a leading artist of his time. In 1508, Raphael was summoned to Rome by Pope Julius II to work on the decoration of the Vatican Palace. Over the next decade, he produced some of his most celebrated works, including the frescoes in the Stanza della Segnatura, such as the School of Athens, which epitomized the intellectual and philosophical ideals of the Renaissance. In addition to his prowess as a painter, Raphael was also a skilled architect, designing several buildings in Rome, including the magnificent Villa Farnesina. Tragically, Raphael's life was cut short at the age of 37 due to illness, leaving behind an extraordinary body of work that continues to inspire and captivate audiences worldwide. His contributions to art and architecture during the Renaissance earned him a lasting legacy as one of the greatest artists of all time.